Hey y'all, thanks for joining us for Living for 4-H Fridays. Today, Miss Sarah from Guilford County is going to tell us a little bit about horse markings and patterns. Hey guys, thanks for joining us today. I'm Sarah Paschal, the 4-H agent for Guilford County. And here today with me is my friend Banks. And with his help and the help of some of his friends, we're going to talk to you today about coat colors and markings. Banks here is an American paint horse. And his coat color is a Bay Tobiano. And so what that means is his dark color here, this dark brown, and he has these black points as far as his hair and on his legs, as, and this dark seal brown color makes him a Bay. But because he's more than one color here, this white that crosses here, and this part is called the Withers, that makes him a Tobiano. Banks also has some face markings we can talk about. If you look right here in the center of his forehead, he has some white hairs. That's called a star. And then right here on his nose, he has a couple white hairs and those are considered a snip. My next friend joining us today is Wilbur. Just like Banks, he's also considered a Tobiano because his white crosses his withers here. But you can probably tell he's not the same color brown. His brown is a little lighter, kind of like a copper penny. And so that makes him what we call a sorrel. Wilbur also has a face marking. His is a lot bigger than Banks that we saw just before. His is what we call a blaze. And it's a wide white stripe that runs down his whole face. My next friend for today is George. And George is a little different than the other two that we saw earlier. He's what's called a Bay Tovero. Now a bay is the same color we saw with Banks, that dark brown, he has some black points. Um, but the Tovero is a combination of the Tobiano coat color and Overo. Now Overo typically does not have white that crosses its back, but, Bank, but Banks was a Tobiano, which meant the white did cross his back. So what that means is George here has dark pigmentation around his ears and around his mouth, as well as his bay covers his chest and both flanks. This makes him a Tovero with his coat pattern. Our last friend of the day is Skip. Now Skip is an American quarter horse and he is, as you can see, one solid color. Skip's coat color is a sorrel. He is a copper penny color all the way through and his mane and tail is kind of a little bit of a lighter shade, but not too light. Skip has a face marking as well. This one is called a stripe. As you can see on Wilbur, he had a big broad stripe all the way down his face. Skip has one that goes all the way down. It's just a lot smaller. In addition to his face marking, Skip also has two leg markings. On this front leg here, you can see he has white that extends halfway around his leg. This is called a coronet. And the reason why is because this is right above the coronet band of the hoof. On his other leg here, you can see he has white that extends from his hoof above his fetlock, but below the knee. And this is called a sock. Skip also has these little white spots that you can see on his body. That has nothing to do with the coat colors we were talking about earlier as far as Banks, Wilbur, and George. These are actually called bird catcher spots and some horses get them as they grow older. 